This is a no bullshit guide to Nidalee. Ah yes, Nidalee, the queen of solo queue. Like most women, Nidalee has a very friendly human side and an aggressive animalistic beastie side. It's just like real life. And there's a lot of wonderful cosplays that feature some very nice Nidalee assets. Yeah. Now, there are two ways you can play Nidalee right now that are currently viable even after nerfs. One way is the AP Spear Huckin style, and the other way is the top lane AD Bruiser slash Split Pusher style. Both very good. Today, we're going to focus on that AP Nidalee style, or as I like to call it, playing a little League of Duty and sniping foos. All right, let's get to it. With Middle East, start trap, trap some brushes, max Q, heal, then trap. Four runes take AP quince, hybrid pen reds, flat armor, and magic resist. Four hard lanes, flash barrier, easy lanes, flash ignite. This is your core build. You're going to be rushing a tier, getting some AP, and then finishing off your boots and Archangel staff. Your final build should look something like this. Now, unlike AD Nid, AP Nidalee has a really crappy, crappy lane phase. You will almost never be able to kill your lane opponent 1v1 as AP Nidalee. And your jungler will never really want to gank for you because you don't have any CC. So farm up to the best of your ability using the traps and the spears to last hit whenever you're going to take too much harass. You're going to be waiting to level 6 where you can roam and pick up a lot of free kills. Alright, so between level 6 and 11, Nidalee is really, really strong. So you should be looking to ward enemies buffs, skirmish, and roam whenever possible. The mid game is the most important part. I cannot stress this enough. If you're not pushing your lane, roaming, and looking to fight, and looking to skirmish, you are playing AP Nidalee wrong. I promise. As you transition into late game, remember Nidalee is a poke champion. Players will try to all in you, be prepared for that as you push objectives. Alright, AP Nidalee is really hard to pull off late game, and as you're learning it, this time of the game is probably where you're going to get flamed the most. I mean, as soon as you miss a bunch of spears, some dude will be like, shit, I didn't know Lee Sin main Nidalee. So pay attention, this part is really important. Let's break down this team fight. Notice how I maintain space right from the get go, and then I start spamming my spears. Every time they're on cooldown, I'm using them. Additionally, I'm constantly healing my AD carry and also putting down traps whenever those are off of cooldown as well. Jumping in should be an absolute last resort. You see right here, you could be tempted to try to jump in and get that double kill. Instead, I keep throwing spears and healing and then pick off Ziggs for the shutdown and the team fight victory. Got just a few more tips before I go. Make sure to practice the jump shown here before you go into your game so you maximize that mobility. With AP Nidalee, you should almost always have the most damage dealt to enemy champions. And if you don't have that, that probably means you're missing too many spears. So work on that shit. When you see junglers like Vi, Maokai, and Nautilus, be very careful when you start roaming. You can throw a game if you roam too recklessly. This was a no bullshit guide to AP Nidalee. I'm Nisi of BingeGaming.tv, and remember, if you want to see more videos like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Oh, and here's Cloud9's coach fail flashing. Peace. Thanks for watching. You can find me on Twitch, and AD Nidalee will be the next No BS Guide.